can always remember playing Barry Hawkins in the semi-final. I was leading 10-6, but I just knew there was, I, had, I had big problems with my tip at that time. The closest person to me was Les Dodd. Obviously, everybody knows him on the snooker circuit. He's a big happy-go-lucky player and he's, he gets on well with everyone. I phoned Les. I says, Les, any chance I could, I could get the tip done? He says, not a problem, John. Just travel up. My family had come down, so I was just getting him settled into their flat. And then I says to him, look, I'm going to have to shoot off to Southport. And he thought I was kidding on. But no, I says, no, listen, my, my tip's goosed. I can't, it's not going to last me the end of the semi-final, never mind if I had to get through into the final. So, so they thought I was crazy. But anyway, get in the car, it was around about seven o'clock. Took me about three or four hours. There was all sorts of uh, traffic works on the M62. I think I got to Les's about 11 o'clock at night, I think it was. Selby and Ding were just finishing the third last session, so had a cup of tea, watched the end of that session, and then Les says, right, get the cue, let's see it. Done a good job, had about half an hour practice on his table, and then he says, look, you can stay longer. I says, no, look, Les, I need to get back, because I've, I've been kicking off against Barry again at 10 o'clock in the morning, so jumped in the car again from Southport around about one, half past one. The M62 was closed. I had to go over the Snake Pass. I fucking swear I was absolutely myself now because it was like three or four o'clock in the morning and I, there were no cars on the road it was just a single lane traffic and I'm thinking where the hell am I going here if, 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 if I break down if, if anything happens here now you, you, I won't make my semi-final luckily I get back into my flat at like six in the morning two and a half hours sleep with a quick shower shave I went for a quick half an hour practice before the semi-final finished the third session 16-8 in front against Barry. Obviously, it wasn't to be. I, I didn't manage to, to beat Selby in the final, but I will. Les Dodd, a great, a great day, thanks, because without him, I might not get through to the final.